All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with Corrupt Jack Smith. Y'all know Jack Smith is the one that's been threatening Judge Eileen Cannon this entire time. I mean, just been going on rants. He even got his whole team behind him trying to get Judge Eileen Cannon removed as the judge because they're trying to get a Democrat judge up in there. Like I said, this crap right here is not going to work. Because the thing is, is that Jack Smith think he can just have his way. He think he's the judge. Just because Judge Eileen Cannon, she won't do what he want her to do. So now he's throwing hissy fits. He's getting mad. If she don't do what he say do, now she he's trying to uh, get the woman thrown off. I mean, it is just crazy. But we definitely finna get straight into this one. This one is coming from Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel. Let him know that I sent you, all right? He said, Jack Smith humiliated by Trump Judge Eileen Cannon. So we definitely got to check this out. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything. And like I said before, hit that like button so more people can see this video and see how corrupt jack smith in i just don't get it a lot of these a lot of times now trump got all these other crooked judges going at him and when there's finally a judge that's fair and trying to call it down the middle this is what the left does this is what they do they try to get mad and make it seem like that this judge is on trump's side because she won't listen to jack smith the woman just trying to do her job and just do the things the right way and jack smith don't like it so we definitely go ahead and dive straight into this. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. And let's see exactly what's going on. But we already know Jack Smith ain't been doing nothing but crying tears in the courtroom. So let's go ahead and dive in. Welcome to Doug in Exile. Aileen Cannon planning something even better for Donald Trump, says an attorney. This is the giant lawfare against Trump. This is about the Mar-a-Lago's document case where he held back those documents mm. and Jack Smith went after him for disobeying him. They did a search, you know, of Mar-a-Lago. Mm. Now this court trial is ongoing uh, down in Miami, Florida with a Trump appointed judge, Aileen Cannon. And she really kicks Jack Smith in the groin on this one. Today, the judge overseeing his classified documents trial, Judge Aileen Cannon, rejected Trump's request to dismiss the charges against him. Now, Trump's lawyers had argued that the Presidential Records Act gave Trump the power to retain classified documents. But in a three page ruling, Judge Cannon said that the Presidential Records Act does not provide a pretrial basis to dismiss any of the charges. While that may seem like Cannon is ruling in favor of special counsel Jack Smith, Judge Cannon very much left the door open today for the former president to use the Presidential Records Act as part of his defense during the trial. Former federal prosecutor and legal analyst Glenn Kirshner alleged on Friday that Judge Aileen Cannon is, quote, orchestrating something even more beneficial for Trump in his uh, criminal classified documents trial. Mm. It's important to remember that Glenn Kirshner, you know, these are all political. They all have their own political um, statement for or against Trump. He happens to be against Trump. Among the four criminal cases that Trump, uh, the presumed 2024 GOP presidential nominee, is charged in, one of the most damning, according to legal experts, has been the classified documents case, which charges Trump with unlawfully retaining such documents after leaving the White House in 2021, some containing sensitive national defense information in violation of the Espionage Act. Mm. Trump himself has pleaded not guilty to the charges and accused the investigation of being politically motivated. He specifically is saying he has a right to hold these things. He has a right to declassify these documents because it happened under his presidency. Mm -hmm. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Oh, and on the experts saying this is really the one that probably puts Trump in the most jeopardy because he clearly held the documents and they asked him to hand them over. He said no. He flat out he stood by his values and said no. So this is the one where it'd be probably the easiest to get him, but because they're classified documents, they all have to be redacted. That means the entire jury can't see, you know, there's an argument over what they can and can't see. And so there's a lot of political turmoil with this particular case. 
Bannon, who was appointed by to the bench by Trump in the final months of his presidency, was selected to oversee the case and has been criticized in many corners for decisions that have been deemed overtly beneficial to the former president. You have to remember, she really hasn't acquitted herself well. Whether you think that it's from inexperience, whether you think it's because she's partisan or both. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, my opinion is it's both, um, that she's both inexperienced and she wow. is consistently ruling in unlawful ways for only one side. Now that's oh all spin because they're just angry that this is one judge that's been appointed by Trump. All the other cases against him have all been Obama or Biden or Clinton appointments. So they're yep. all Democrats. Yep. And so that's what they consider fair. They consider this unfair, that this is a Republican uh, judge. And I actually think Aileen Cannon has been very careful to act like an impartial judge. They're just not used to normalcy on the Democrat side. She has also specifically been accused by, of helping Trump by delaying the case's proceedings by holding off on announcing an official trial date as matters are worked through. Now, she has been accused of dragging her feet, yep. but she's just being normal with all of this case. The timing of it matches up with her normal, uh, the way that she uh, handles her cases. Yep. On Thursday, however, Cannon ruled against a motion from Trump's legal team requesting that his espionage act charges be dismissed arguing that he was allowed to retain the documents under the Presidential Records Act, a notion that Department of Justice's DOJ, Special Counsel Jack Smith's team, dismissed as pure fiction. In denying the motion, Cannon did leave open the possibility that the argument could be raised at a later date in the case. Um, Andrew, you know, we were talking about confidence in the judiciary, and I'm all for believing in institutional integrity, but man, Judge Cannon, she tests, she she, tests the bounds of that every hard. day. Now, I'm only saying... If she's a big Trump ally and and just trying to help him out, why would she do that? Because that technically cut against Trump. They won't acknowledge it because they, they're still going for their spin on this whole thing. Yeah, you're right, dude. They're going for their own spin. You see how they send up your crime victim, but they ain't got nothing to say about all these other crooked judges that don't like Donald Trump. The judges that don't like Donald Trump, that's ruling against them, just like Ingeron, and uh, that other judge, the one that didn't even want Donald Trump to go to his own mother-in-law's funeral. All these other crooked judges that's been going against Donald Trump, just like the, um, what's the other one? The one trying to make E. Jean Carroll think she's going to get some money. She ain't finna get no money. But what I'm saying is you got all these other crooked judges that's going against Donald Trump that's not fair, trying to make this man uh, give up money, trying to take his campaign money. But yet, as soon as he get one fair judge, oh, she ain't doing her job. Oh, she making this one-sided. Okay, if, if Judge Eileen Cannon, which I don't believe she making the one-sided, I believe she just being a fair judge and not on either side and just calling it down the middle as she see it. But Jack Smith, them taking it as if since she ain't listening to them, she's one-sided and she's for Trump. I, I mean, the, the hypocrisy of these people is just crazy to me. It is just crazy. Donald Trump been going through all of this crap with all these crooked judges, with Letitia James. Then you got a judge that ain't got no spine in Georgia that was scared to dismiss Fannie Willis for the crap that she did. So those two judges that's right there that's against Trump. The judge that's against, uh, that was on E. Jean Carroll's side trying to war her uh, 83 some million something dollars. I mean, you got all these other judges going against Donald Trump. He get one fair judge and all of a sudden it's something wrong. You see what they do? They pick and choose. Let Judge Eileen Cannon would have been listening to Jack Smith this entire time. They wouldn't have nothing to say. They'll be brave and like, oh, she's a good judge. She's doing the right thing. But since she's calling it down the middle, it's a problem. Now they want her off the judge. They want her gone. They want another judge. You know why they want another judge? Because they want a Democrat judge. They want another Judge Ingeron. That's what they want. They want another one of those type of judges that's just going to rule directly against Donald Trump. That's what they want, but they're not getting it. I mean, this is just crazy, man. The way that they just act, and then, like I said, they trying to push for these trials. Oh, she's trying to help Donald Trump out because she won't set a trial date. 
They trying to prosecute Trump before election. And they is trying their best to get this man prosecuted. They know election coming up. They see them poll numbers. I guarantee they won't be rushing no trial date if he were losing in the polls to Joe Biden. If Joe Biden, if Joe Biden was winning all the polls and stuff like that, they wouldn't be worried about trying to rush uh, a rush for a trial date. They wouldn't be worried about it because they'd be like, okay, Joe Biden winning anyway, so we ain't got to rush. Judge, take your time. But since they see them poll numbers and they see that this man is winning, they are just swinging for the fences right now. News flags is not going to work. It's not going to work. So Jack Smith, you has failed. Let's get back to it, yo. That she's just trying to help Trump even when she's not trying to help him. Right. In a Friday post to his official YouTube channel, Kirshner, a former assistant U.S. attorney and frequent critic of the former president, argued that this decision from Cannon is laying the groundwork for something that will be, quote, even better for Trump. And that's why I'm for it. I like it when the politics cut uh, and help us every once in a while, because this, is, this would only be one quarter to one fifth of the trials against Trump where he gets what I consider a fair shake. Quote, she's orchestrating something even better for Donald Trump. He said, if she had granted this motion and dismissed those charges, guess what? Special counsel Jack Smith would have been able to appeal. But what she said is, quote, I'm not going to dismiss them now, but I might dismiss them later when we're in trial, after the jury's been sworn, after jeopardy has attached. The big sort of thing that people need to understand, once the jury is sworn, double jeopardy attaches, meaning if the jury acquits or if the judge acquits, it's over. What does jeopardy mean? You can't try the same guy twice for the same thing. So at that point, it'll be double jeopardy for uh, Jack Smith to appeal and retry him. So that's not going to happen. Why? Because then Jack Smith can't appeal a dismissal and Donald Trump will never be held accountable for those crimes, unquote. Similar accusations of this tactic were levied against Judge Cannon last month when she denied. You know, one of the main problems I have with this, they sit up there and threw out uh, Joe Biden's, threw out his classified document case, trying to blame it on him. You know what I'm saying? Like not remembering anything, always falling. It just always come to my senses if you're going to drop, because you remember Donald Trump said something about this. If y'all going to drop Joe Biden's, y'all need to drop mine's. But why is he still allowed to be the president if all that right there is true? If all that right there is true, how come he's allowed to still be the president? You see what I'm saying? All this stuff is just one side. They trying their best to take out Donald Trump. Trying their best. Just trying everything. This stuff is just crazy. And I can't wait till Trump get the last laugh when he win in November. They going to be looking stupid. And I can't wait for it, too. I, I'm ready for it. But uh, let's go ahead and dive back in. Let's go. I had a motion from Trump's legal team looking to have 32 of his 40 charges dismissed on presidential immunity grounds. She did so without prejudice, meaning that Trump's team can raise the issue later on down the line if they choose to. Now, Neil Katyal, a lawyer and former acting U.S. Solicitor General during the Obama administration, so he's guilty already, previously suggested that while Cannon could end up rejecting the motions to dismiss arguments, the fact she held a long, day-long hearing to discuss their merit is, in the first place, is ultimately helping Trump in his hopes to delay the federal trial. Now, this is the thing with Jack Smith that I always accuse him of. This is all just about timing. They just mm -hmm. want to get him before the election. Yep. They don't care about justice. Yep. And if they cared about justice, they'd let her take her time on it and be thorough about it. Yep. But their fear is that she's not going to make a ruling before the election in November. Mm -hmm. Speaking to MSNBC on March 14th, the day of the hearing, uh, Katyal and Cannon's decisions in favor of Smith's office was only a partial victory, similar to what may occur with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling on whether Trump can cite presidential immunity to discuss his federal uh, election obstruction case. Let's skip down to that final paragraph to wrap this up. Quote, there's no chance that Trump is going to win and that the court is going to say 
he has absolute immunity. But what the Supreme Court did there is delay his trial for January 6th charges, potentially to after the election, unquote, hmm. Katyal said. Quote, and the same thing I fear is happening with Judge Cannon. She keeps kicking the can down the road. The fact that she had a day-long hearing today on those two bogus issues tell you everything you need to know. The only thing that Donald Trump's arguments warrant are an eye roll and a swift denial. Now, they're being disrespectful to the entire justice system just because yep. Aileen Cannon is a Trump appointment. And mm -hmm. so all of these people that talk about, oh, respect of the law and respect of the justice, there's no respect for Aileen Cannon. They show great disrespect for her in the media. These are lawyers. Exactly. That's what they've been doing. Disrespecting this woman because she won't do what they want her to do. But they praising Judge Ingeron. They, they praising all these other crooked judges. You don't hear MSNBC talking about Judge Ingeron, do you? You don't hear them talking about Judge McAfee in no bad light, do you? They only want to talk about the judges that they feel like is on Donald Trump's side. This is what they've been doing, just bashing this woman. The same thing Jack Smith and his team been doing, trying to call this woman out because she won't listen to him. She's the judge, y'all are not. This is crazy. Get Trump and we'll work out the legality and precedent and tradition later. So I'm I'm happy to see Aileen Cannon uh, fight for the law. I In the end, I think she's fair. She's already shown that she's cut against Trump on mm -hmm. some of these motions. And yet suddenly now she's doing this one thing where she pushed back on Jack Smith. And it's a warning to him. She's saying like, you don't own me. Right. You don't own me, buddy. And corrupt Jack Smith is angry because he owns all the other judges. Yep, that's exactly right. Shout out to Doug for another great video, man. But Jack Smith has to be stopped with the crap that him and his team is doing and slandering Judge Eileen Cannon with these threats. Then they got the media talking crap about them, CNN, M MSNBC, all these Crooked networks are just talking crap about this woman because they, because she won't do what they want her uh, want her to do. It's not going to work, but we shall see exactly what's going to happen because she is being a fair judge so far. So we shall see. Like I said, make sure I hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I catch y'all in the next one.